Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv, and Mr. Pat H.D. Barry has taken a few minutes of his busy schedule to talk with us. How you feeling, boss? True, feeling good, man. I'm almost feeling too good. I'm loose, I'm comfortable. I can't seem to wake up. I think there's like black mold in this hotel because I've been tired since I've landed and I, I just want to go to bed. Well, you said you're feeling too good. The tire's not good. I, no, I mean, it's, I just, I'm, I'm drowsy, man. I'm drowsy. Everyone else is saying that they can't sleep, and you usually I can't sleep like the week of the fight. But man, I'm tired, man. I just, I'm so comfortable. I just want. I'm too comfortable. Too comfortable. <laughs> Big fight against Shane Del Rosari this weekend, the Tough 16 finale. Talk about the matchup against Shane. Uh, the kind of matchup that I would want to see. I mean, just being a fan and watching, it's the kind of matchup that I want to see. Two guys who uh, have something to prove. Two kickboxers, two strikers uh, at hand who are going to send in. They're going to punch and kick each other until somebody quits or somebody goes to sleep. Yeah, he's a southpaw. Obviously, nothing you haven't seen before. Right, right. I mean, he's a, he's a lefty, so that means that there's only like six of him on earth on earth you know and that sometimes i'm one of them because i go back and forth uh so that's already going to be a challenge and difficult by itself because i've only fought i mean i've fought a few southpaws uh in kickboxing i've fought a lot in kickboxing but only like one or two in mma so far um and uh he's going to be the next big one safe to say he's going to want to stand as well i would think but you've been searching for that submission that ever fleeting submission that you say you wanted to get so this might be the best chance for you to get that well, I said that I was going to submit someone in the UFC, and that's definitely my Achilles heel is my jiu-jitsu and my wrestling, and that's what I'm working on. But I have zero intention of submitting anyone. And I'll tell you why I have zero intention of submitting anyone for all of you out there in the world, but I'll give this one to you right now. What would you rather see, me guillotine somebody or me kick someone's ear off their head? I'd definitely rather see the kick, but I would also enjoy the submission. I would. Right, but which one do you think you would stop talking about first? The kick. You stop talking about the kick first? Oh, sorry, you said which one would I talk about? Which one would you stop talking about? You, you talk about the submission, you talk about the kick, but if, if it was the submission, you'd talk about the submission for like three days. And it would only be because Pat did it, not because it was a cool submission. <laughs> oh my God, Pat Barry did something he can't even name. You know what I mean? But you, the kick would go on forever. Yeah. Forever. Well, um, you know, talk about, I guess, the training that you've had for this fight. And, and you were out here a little bit for the Ultimate Fighter as well? Well, I was out here uh, as an assistant coach on the Ultimate Fighter, uh, more like a teammate, I'd say, um, big brother type thing. Um, but I've done half my training in Minneapolis, Minnesota with Greg Nelson, the almighty Greg Nelson, and uh, half my training with Trevor Whitman uh, in, uh, at Grudge in Denver, Colorado. So I've been working on all aspects of it, the ground and the wrestling, the ground game, the submission game, the fight winning game. And then I went out to uh, Denver and I've been just punching and kicking the whole time I've been out there. Excited to see it, man. Saturday will be a very exciting fight. Anything else you want to say, Pat? Uh, just keep your eyes open, man. This is going to be the kind of, uh, I would like to the world, the world know out there that uh, Shane being a kickboxer, myself being a kickboxer at heart, uh, who have both made the transition over MMA, we are both obligated to stand up with each other. Whoever goes for a takedown first loses. Not necessarily loses the fight, but just loses. Yep. And his little gloves, it will be fireworks. Don't miss it. Pat Barry taking on Shane Del Rosario this Saturday night live on FX.